Hello, welcome. It's been a long time since I've posted. Okay, that's enough explanation. Let's not waste any more time. Today, what are we doing? We're actually gonna um, follow a Bob Ross tutorial. But anyways, I don't want to waste more time. Uh, I don't. The lighting is gonna is gonna. Um, I use natural light. Yeah, the sun. The sun is about to go down. So let's start painting. All right. Am I, am I in focus? Am I in focus? If I move here, am I in focus? Am I in focus? I'm actually pretty late, aren't I? <laughs> well, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to decorate that that wall over there. When I film, you don't have to just look at this. Or maybe you... I mean, it makes the wall more prettier and more occupied. In a way, you know, I just want to decorate the wall with some canvases and you know, paint art, I mean, on my own. What? Basically create the own art decor. Basically create my own art decor. Yeah, I just want to fill up, have fun. I don't do art frequently. I usually do it through sketches or drawing or making videos like this. This is art, I guess. Or I'm more into photography, like as a form of art. Typical teenager. Let's just start. I have these brushes, which aren't actually mine. They're my sister's. I'm only gonna use two brushes. Bob, I mean Mr. Ross, uses a two-inch brush. Well, I can't find a two-inch brush. Another reason why I'm doing this is actually because I want to finish this very old box of acrylic paint, which I'm not even supposed to use for this video because Bob Ross uses oil paint, which is very different since acrylic paint dries up so much faster. And that's really not good. He uses wet-on-wet -wet technique, and I can't do that with acrylic unless I have linseed oil. But then again, I don't. We also have this. This... This very dirty palette, palette, which I have not properly cleaned for the past few years. I'm worried about this video. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. I also have these. All right, we have all the items. Let me just fill this with water and I'll get back to you soon. All right, we're back with water. We're not gonna paint on this canvas yet. We're actually gonna paint on this small canvas. I'm really scared it wouldn't work out, so I'm just gonna save that. If it doesn't, then I'm just gonna throw it away. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it. But anyways, let's get painting. Today we just have some fun. Let's have some fun. I want to start out today first thing and make some brown. Okay, brown. I'm going to use brown. What type of brown? Sap green and a lizard crimson. I have neither. Sap green. Sap. Maybe I should add white. Wow. Whoa. That looks nothing like sap green. I think I'm gonna add brown instead because it looks a bit brownish. Ooh, that's. Okay, don't panic. We got this, we got this. We haven't even started painting on the canvas yet, but you know, we got this. That looks like a good color, right? This one. I don't know about you, but it looks great to me, so why not? How about something like that? That looks risky, hold on. Ah, very good. So he. Okay. Okay. I'm going to dark sienna. Dark sienna. All right. Maybe this is dark sienna. Not bad. Happy accidents. Happy accidents. And that brown. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck, Bob? I only have burnt umber. Burnt umber. That says burnt umber. I don't think you can see it. Well. Ah, 
fine. Very okay. warm, warm. All right. Color. This is going to end up being just a little bit of colors. Okay. So we're going to cover this whole thing. Just going to. I don't even. What? Right You're wrong. putting titanium white there? Just Why? You're going to use this brush instead. We'll do for the little background. You can't do that, Bob. Not in my case. So you want it to blend together, don't you? Let's just do that. No. That's Actually, that turned out well. Kind of. I'm just trying to think positive, man. Um, I hope you can see, though. I had to stop. I fixed it a little. It looks a little bit better now. So it looks a bit darker there. I don't really mind. I like to think that it's like a darker shade. When you look from afar, it looks okay. Add that white in there. You can improvise and add more shade. So let's try that. A little down here. I'm gonna have a little winter scene. It's very warm, very very warm. So this brown will be. Oh, is it freaking dry? It's I mean. Very warm. Ah, how's that? Yes. Brown somewhere. We'll take a little of that brown we've made. Well, that brown we've made is already dry for me, Bob. Quite a bit of what are we gonna do? Maybe we'll use this brown that we made. <laughs> Look at those fine looking branches. I don't think we're gonna do that. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Basic shape. We're not looking for detail. Only basic shape. Wait, I don't think. Let me. Oh, whoa, whoa! I had, I had too much. So I need your base to gel. This is just a base. Oh sh oh whoa. That was not supposed to happen, but uh, I guess it I guess it happened. Well, it's ruined. I mean I'm gonna cover it with brown anyways, right? So that brown looks reddish. Keep on saying reddish a lot. Here's the color. This one. Yeah, we did like it. Something about that yet. Now, the yellow ochre, cad yellow, Indian yellow, and once in a while, a little touch of the bright red. I don't have 75% of whatever he said. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get confused when I'm editing, because like I pause and rewind a lot. So good luck, Joaquin. Pretty sure I'm gonna need it. Oh damn, gonna spend three.
You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but I would appreciate it if you do. Yeah, I hope you had fun. See you next time. See you next time. Chase a chick, chase a double chase.